and n columns. Okay, so the rows, the rows of a can be viewed as row vectors. So the rows of a may be viewed as row vectors. And let's circle an, an example of what we mean by a row vector. Here's a row vector. For example, we'll say R1 looks like the row vector A11, A12, all the way up through A1N. Each row vector is an element of R n because there's n elements in that row vector and furthermore we can say that there are m of these row vectors. So there are m of these, so r1, r2, all the way up through the mth row. So we've got row vectors and we know that they live in rn and there are m of the row vectors. Now there's also column vectors, so let's look at our column vectors. Our column vectors, here's a representative column vector. So the columns of A may be viewed as column vectors. Columns of A may be viewed as column vectors. And each of these column vectors um, lives in, so here's a representative column vector, but it lives in, in Rm. Okay, so let's write down what C1 would look like. C1 was a column vector and it started off A11, A21, all the way down through AM1. So this is an element of RM. And we know that there are N of these column vectors. So we'll label them C1, C2, all the way up through C sub N column vectors. Okay, so that's a little bit of terminology. We've got row vectors and we've got column vectors. Now what we want to be talking about, we want to be talking about something called the row space and the column space. So let's have another definition here. So definition. The column space is a vector space and Let me, let me stick with rows 